It's the maestro. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. No, yeah. Hello. So many people in the world today. Oh, Lord, them just a fuss. It, it, to me, it was a nothing moved from. Like, you know, all people see it since I was three years, I was singing in church. It was something like, it just happened at a point in time. Almost like a divine intervention kind of thing. Okay. It just, a guy called, a guy met me one day, they said they had a choral a choir uh -huh. to sing in um, when I moved to Barbados. So I said, well, okay, all my friends will give me choral. So I said, all right, cool. Come to find out, the guy want me to lead a song. No, I could sing or not. <laughs> want me to lead a song, and then that's where it happened from. In Dominica, we, we, we took part in a competition, but we came through. We were representing the Giro del Christian Union. It was me, my sister, and two other people. Mm. Yes. So, well, at that point, I was singing and kind of like chanting. I was the one who was chanting the verses and that kind of stuff. I went to my last two years in secondary school in Barbados, two years of college, um, and my at university right now, going on to my last year. The inner PK is kind of tough. Um, I guess probably, you know, people, I could probably say, you know, people expect a whole lot of you and that, that kind of, that kind of was connected to my kind of 13 to 16 wars with straight away and getting into all sorts of things. So, um, it was kind of tough, but I think him always praying and believing that me and my sister would that I have all come to, to something greater and keeping that faith in us. Even when I straight keeping that faith, I'm constantly praying for me because stuff I know that happened to me where probably I could have died. I, I felt at that point that it was my mom, my dad that was praying for me. I, I look up to my father as a spiritual leader too. So. Yeah. From the time of my um of my getting involved into music, the people who have I've, I've, I've been looking up to would be probably Stitchy, for one. Okay. Um, I've, I've been close with guys like Corey Duncan and St. Matthew too, so, yeah. so it's not only like I look up to them, but as friends, they, they give me advice and that kind of stuff. I also look up to Mr. Lynx. Yeah, Mr. Lynx, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, you like his style of music? For the passion. So many loved ones. Our music is basically like social commentary. Okay. We don't want to call it conscious music, but we call it we call it gospel reggae, gospel dancer, or dancer gospel reggae gospel, whichever way, vice versa. Right. Um, I think we speak about biblical issues that we that we that are related to everyday living to let people to understand, to have people to relate, and see ourselves also as teachers. What we do is that we teach in the music and give people an outcome. I think that's what we're supposed to do. But when we get caught up in what people think or what people will say about the music or what, I think that's where we go off track sometimes as artists. And never take need to the things that you really need. Yeah. So you at the racing, yeah, you at the chasing, but you at the wrong. The album that I'm working on now, it's a mixture of stuff. So you get a little R&B kind of flavor. You get some some rap. Um, I have two dance on some of my album, which I tried out for the very first time. Okay. Um, but reggae, I have a lot of reggae. You can feel, even when it, it's not fully reggae, you can still get a feel mm -hmm. of reggae. What if, what if, what if it comes tonight? Yes. Where would you go if it's um, I think everybody has a calling, and my calling is not the ushering people into worship. And okay. Bowing down. I think my calling is to give people a message, to teach, to share. I think, and and that avenue allows allows you to do that very well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of meditation songs, a lot of introspection songs, 
that um, people will sit listen to. Sometimes we like to call it iPod music. You put it in your okay, ear. IPod, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you listen to it. Help motivate you. You can listen to it before an exam. You can listen to it when you go struggle. That's the kind of idea that I have to, to give to people. Because what God gives to me, I, I think that I should give it to people too. And, and it is helping. Mm-hmm. A lot of compassionate kind of love. And the fast car, or the fast lane, in the fast life, settling out. Never, I, I never really focus on the beat. Of us. Tomorrow, would you end up in glory or a world full of sorrow? Don't wait. Um, it happens anywhere. Anywhere, anytime. Anywhere, anytime, yeah. Some are, and you know, sometimes you know when it's, it's kind of divine. Mm-hmm. Because when you put on to write something, it's. It, 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 there's no thinking or, or hesitation in it. You know when it's divine because when you get that message, it's like, yeah, this is what you have to do for this season. For right, you write this, and I just go, we just end. And then when, sometimes when I'm finished, I'm like, I write that. Did you actually write that? <laughs> it's not just, it's not just you because. You're giving something important to people. Music is one of the most powerful forms of communication. communication yes. And I believe if you're giving that to people and you call it gospel, not gospel, gospel but if you call it gospel music, it always needs to be in tune and always be in line with the Holy Spirit so, so that you are guided in the right direction as to what to sing, what to write. I do a sermon, a short sermon on three minutes on a, on a track. That's what it is. That's what it is. So it's like a sermon. Eh? Yes. When I said, when I said, you've been thinking, you've been thinking that your life is the best one until you accept Jesus Christ. You have no rest, son. Living a life in sin and never taking heed to the things that you really need. Yeah. I just spoke it out to you. Just spoke it out. A message of love, first of all. Mm-hmm. Um. Not in a not in a in a in a self in a selfish way, but caring for self, introspection, looking at what what is inside of you, how you function, that kind of stuff. Right. I'm loving each other, basically a righteous living. Yes. But it gives something to think about. To think about. It gives you another option in life. Featuring on this check with us, man. I think it's your. I think it's 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 your lifestyle that you live. What helps me with keeping up with the writing and doing this is. Having to be an example of what I sing about. What you sing about? That keeps. Yeah, that's what. So, you, so your lifestyle shines before men, basically. That's what it's about. I think you have to be you have to be all rounded as a young a young guy. Um, I'm sure probably young ladies would agree that um, you you don't really want a husband or a wife as an artist who doesn't have a plan B. Exactly. Just in case. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Um, so I do ministry, but I also focus on a life that I want to live that I could support a future family of mine. I think an education is key. It doesn't bring you to heaven. <laughs> the album We'll be coming most likely somewhere in August at the end of the summer. Okay. Um. Yeah, but we're working very, very hard to to get it done, finished, and everything. The album will be named Mr. Warrington. Um, Warrington. Ah. It's kind of a double meaning. Yes, yes, yes. Warrington. Um, and the title track on the song will be named Mr. Warrington. But last year's summer, I would say, was when I branched off as okay. when I came out as Nyan as a solo artist. Right. We did pretty good last year. Most of the major events and small events, um, I partnered sometimes with a guy called Bishop, another fellow artist of mine, okay. who is featured on People in the World. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. We did most of the major events last year. I did a couple events this year as well. Uh, I'll be going back home. 
first time ever. And Dominica will be getting the albums first, actually. That it's kind good. of a dedication to where I came from. I, I love the, the, the warmth that and how I've been accepted as a okay. local artist, Barbados as well. Actually, they just had a compilation named Beige Ablaze, and oh. they allowed me to be on that compilation as a local artist. Nice. I'm really happy that the, the Bajan community have accepted me, you know? That's good. As one of theirs, to That's see. Once you can get it in time for everything, then Dominica will be getting it. The event I will be going is, is a previous night slash a gospel night in the Rabbit Festival in Cochrane. Oh, Chris. The first ever time that they're going to do it. Um, they have a cast of local artists as well, uh -huh. and churches will take part in the event as well. So hopefully it will be a success. I'll be a part of that, helping to support it. Um, um, well, after this album, um, well, it's my last year of school in September, okay. so I really wanna, I really wanna focus, focus on that. But I'll give the album time to settle. Yeah, I don't want it to, to, to let me think that I am this different person. I want people to see the same person. Right. You, you, you get what you, you, you get what you've seen all along. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grow spiritually. You might hear it in my talk. Right. Um, and I kind of say my relationship will obviously be tightened with God. If my album wins one soul and touches one soul, one soul. I am happy. Mr. Maestro, yeah, yeah, you don't know. No, yeah. Oh, no. So many people in the world today. Them just a false life eyes and stray. Oh, many people in the world today. Oh, Lord, them just a false life eyes and stray. I'ma know. Just take a look at mankind. No longer them will say if you seek, you will find. They say it's all in your mind. Just watch the gangster man and them just a fool of the night. Them to check the door.